place that refits old vehicle parts is just past the hollow entrance. We'll be there soon. Oh, actually, I've got a question. I heard from Wise that the factory in the hollow sells parts after they've been sorted. If that's the case, why not just buy them outside the hollow? It's simple, really. With so many bikers in the old oil field, the leftover parts that do end up reaching the market are the ones that no one wants. Exactly. It's like if you want top quality fresh fish. Someone has to set out to sea early in the morning and use an airship to get the ingredients back to the kitchen. It's just fish. Is all that really necessary? Proxy, it's way easier for us to come into the hollow to buy stuff compared to the hassle city folks go through just to have a meal. Ethereals, watch out. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. That's right, we can try out our new fuel. More dangerous. Traps or Bernice? Hmm? Uh, hold on. This isn't the way to the factory. Since we're already here, we might stumble across some goodies. Are these the goodies you're talking about? Let's prepare for battle first. Concentration here is quite low, and spatial stability is normal. No wonder they can still do business here. Greetings. By the look of your gear, I take it you're from the Motor League. Hey, old timer. We're looking for some bike parts. So, you're here for parts too, huh? Unfortunately, we're out of stock until the Torrid Inferno is over. Say what? The heck's going on? Some youngsters came by this morning and bought up all of my stock. Huh? I warned them that buying up everything would make things difficult for my other customers. But the Thyron girl leading them seemed awful fiery and uh, they paid well above market price. Oh, she said she's from the Sons of Caledon and that they were prepping for the big challenge since they finally got a spot to compete. Wait. Do we have any Thyrens? Grassy, Woody, and Bricky aren't girls, right? <sighs> Bernice, the heart of the matter is that someone impersonated us and bought everything. 
everything here. Wait, what did you say? Uh, we're the real sons of Caledon. We have no idea who those other people are. Oh, damn, not only did they keep us from getting parts, they also tarnished our reputation. They played their hand well. Well, actually, the whole thing just feels wrong to me. If you can persuade her to change your mind, I won't object. Just, uh, don't mention it was me who told you. Where did those people go, old man? Oh, after they bought everything here, they headed straight to the abandoned vehicle graveyard deeper in the hollow when they heard there were more parts there. We have to stop them. <laughs> Let's get going, Proxy! I need to go to the vehicle graveyard to get my bike back. Can we make it in time? Don't worry. I'll ask Piper to bring the vehicles here. This way. There's a special fissure nearby. We'll be able to rendezvous with her soon. Oh, Proxy! I knew we could count on you! The rendezvous point is near the highway. We're almost there. Master, please be aware. Explosive items detected in the vicinity. Oh, Watch me burn him to the ground! Warning. Bernice has activated reckless charge mode. Who's that? What terrible taste! Someone who uses Golden Damsel in Distress as their internaut username has no right to question my taste. Watch out. There's more to battle! The glory! Nice work, Bernice! Biosignals detected in the area ahead. Great. Piper's already here. I can finally get my bike. <laughs> wow, Piper! You brought the vehicles! I'm just heeding the proxy's call. Little old me wouldn't keep you waiting for a minute longer. Your rides are here for you. Let's get a rolling. Thanks, little old you. Guys, let's ride. Slow down, Bernice. You're going too fast. It's time to find out who's the fastest. We might be able to get ahead of Woo-wee! You youngin' sure got some fire in your belly. Proxy, get on! Let's head out! Thinking, since we have the upper hand, we might as well call it a day. But seeing you like this really brings out my predatory instincts. Ooh, 
don't just stroke someone's tail if you don't know them. Oh, yeah! The first time you meet should be a scratch under the chin, right? Ugh, don't patronize me. No, cats are so cute when they're angry. Damn it! The enemies are tired. Oh, Keep it up. That is? But I haven't had enough fun yet! How come this monster is so strong? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, that's enough. I give up. What? You give up? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Explain yourself. It means the refitted parts will be returned, and I'll give up the parts from the vehicle graveyard. So, let's just pretend none of this ever happened. Huh. Pretend none of this ever happened? What? Feeling hard done by? After I bought the parts, no one else should have come by. This shouldn't affect the Sons of Caledon's reputation. Besides, if my employer finds out I failed, it won't do me any good either. So, I'll say the job's done. You benefit from this too. Pretend none of this ever happened? Come on, what's your deal? What more do you want? Oh, but... But we were having so much fun just now! Uh, what? Kitty, you're really good. I've never seen a Thyrin as skilled and cute as you before. Cute? Wait, what are you talking about? I mean it, and it looks like the legends are true. Cat Thyrens aren't loyal to their masters. Huh. Well, I'm just a mercenary working to get paid. And about my employer, hmm. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of him. But I can't reveal his identity. I don't want to cause trouble for myself, so don't even go there. That's okay. We won't ask. Hey, Bernice! This isn't your decision to make! <laughs> Leave her be, Lucy. Once Bernice has her mind made up, nothing's gonna change it. Kitty, if you don't like your current employer, why not join the Sons of Calidon? Huh? <laughs> Aren't you afraid I'll betray you? No one's safe from the sharp claws of a cat thyron. Don't worry, I've heard that Kitty's choose to partner up with only the strongest. The Sons of Calidon can definitely live up to that. We'll see. Once you've actually proven you're the strongest, at least. And stop calling me Kitty! I do have a name. It's Pulcra. Okay, Pulcra. Let's play again next time. With a playmate who doesn't know their own strength? I think I'll pass. But... I am partial to warm places. Proxy, sorry to call you here so late. I'll cut to the chase. I have an extra commission for you, and I need you to keep it secret. Can you explain more? You must have noticed. Lately, every time we go into the Hollows, we're met with one obstacle after another. Ugh, it's clear someone has it out for us. I did a background check on Bellum and Pulcra. 
There's no public info linking them to any biker gang, but I bet they've got something to do with the Vanquishers. You don't suspect any of the other biker gangs? The Torrid Inferno is a head-to-head -head duel between us and the Vanquishers. Since one team will end up with the next Overlord, it's best not to cause trouble right now. Also, knowing Lucius, there's no way he's not involved. <sighs> but we don't have solid proof, so we can't do anything about it. Proxy, I expected some tricks from our rivals, but something's off. Their intel is always right on the money. If they didn't know about our plans ahead of time, how could they keep getting the jump on us? Someone in town must be feeding intel to the Vanquishers. Do you need me to help out? Not for now. I need to narrow down the suspects first. I'll look into it. I might need your help further down the line, though. Don't worry. Faithen will take the commission. Thanks. Oh, and just a reminder, don't tell the others. Especially Bernice and Caesar. Bernice can't keep a secret. And as for Caesar... Well, never mind. You sure are worried about this, Lucy. What can I do? Everyone else is so naturally optimistic around here. Anyway, I'll contact you once I get a breakthrough. Wait for my word. Bye! Proxy, it's you. Are you looking for Lucy? Yes, 
I wanted to go over the details of the Tour de Inferno with Lucy. Ah, Proxy. You really know how to keep your mouth shut. That's good to know. I've said it before. If you can't keep a secret and are slow to react, you're not cut out to be a proxy. Was that just a competency test? Looks like I passed, huh? Yep. You're the real deal, Proxy. Definitely someone the Sons of Calidon should work with long term. Don't let Piper's usual careless facade fool you. She's actually pretty cautious. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just little old unreliable me. Anyway, let's get to the real issue. The informant problem. Here's the deal. Ever since we've set up camp here, I've noticed something odd. Every time Blazewood ships out their handicrafts, Kasa always leaves town for two or three hours at night, carrying hollow gear with her. Since Lucy told me there might be a mole, one night I pretended I couldn't sleep and talked to Kasa when she was about to leave. She said she was out for a stroll because she also couldn't sleep, and then she just went back inside as if everything was normal. But an hour later, she snuck out of Blazewood again. Her behavior does seem quite bizarre. Ugh, this is terrible news! Casa's relationship with the Sons of Caledon goes back longer than I've been around. We set up camp here because of that trust. And to Caesar, Casa has always been like a big sister. Someone she can rely on. If she really has backstabbed us. The long-standing bond between Blazewood and the Sons of Calidon would be ruined. So, we have to investigate this discreetly. If we're right about this, we need to solve it without Caesar knowing. This is a tough situation. Like speeding downhill heading for a turn, but your brakes are out. But dwelling on the worst case scenario... We have to roll with the punches. Cause that's how the Sons of Calidon do. Piper's right! Once a wild boar charges, there's no backing down! Proxy, I heard there's another shipment going out in a few days. Casa should follow her usual routine. We'll follow her at night and see what she's up to. Ready and waiting. I shall. You want to test my hammer? I'm at your. Awaiting further instructions. All right, we're in the hollow. How are things with Bernice and Caesar? I checked. Caesar's already asleep. That girl's got a routine like clockwork. And Bernice is all taken care of. I sparred with her the entire day to wear her out. Looks like tonight, the ethereals in the hollow won't taste my perfect one-hit KO. They got off lucky. Quit whining, Lighter. If you'd hidden the nitro fuel better, we wouldn't be in this mess. All right, let's get moving. Only the three of us and the proxy can handle this now.
Agreed. Morse? You were supposed to come alone. What are you talking about? Hand over the goods like you promised. <laughs> if you want the goods, you're gonna have to pay up. <clears throat> or... I'll just take it from the Sons of Caledon. Wait, what? You're mine now. And my prey never escapes. Oh yeah? Bring it on! Morse Cossack, let's settle this right now! Caesar trusted you! What are you doing running with them? Hang on, Lucy, I can explain. You guys met up here in secret. What else is there to explain? What did they hook you up with? It's not like that. It's just that the town is in dire need of necessity. Ever since the gas station ran out of gas, we've been running low on money and resources. What? You never mentioned any of this before. Hey! Huh? 
over here. Caesar, calm down and listen to me. Casa and the Overlord. Enough. I know. <sighs> These supplies will get corrupted if left in the hollow. Casa. Take them with you. Uh. Huh? Overlord Pompeii? It's been a while, Caesar of the Sons of Caledon. To think that little sprout by Big Daddy's side would dare bring her underlings to challenge me. Overlord Pompeii, while the Sons of Caledon still recognize you as the leader of the Motor League, you'd better explain why you're here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. That will be addressed soon enough. But first, there's a more pressing matter. Caesar, these goods are what the Vanquishers promised to deliver to Blazewood. Are you deciding to let the mayor take them? Don't push your luck. Lucy, wait. I heard you arguing with Casa earlier. I checked these boxes. They really are food and medicine. They weren't lying. No matter where they came from. These are things the town needs. But... Casa... If you're in a bad spot... Why didn't you ask us for help? We've known each other for years. Caesar, I was actually planning to ask you for help. But then you came in all excited, telling me you qualified for the Tour d'Inferno and asked if you could stay in Blazewood for a while. The Sons of Caledon have helped Blazewood so much over the years. At a crucial time like this, we have no way to repay you. So how could we make you worry about this for us too? Repay? Selling us out to the Vanquishers is your idea of repaying us? Selling you out? Wait, Lucy, I've never betrayed you. I just made a deal with the Vanquishers. We trade the handicrafts we make for supplies. She's telling the truth. Although you have the favor of Blazewood, as the Overlord, I couldn't turn a blind eye to the needs of the residents. So I presented them with an opportunity. When Casa suggested moving the trade to the Hollow to avoid any misunderstandings, I agreed. After all, we can't disrupt the peace among League members. So you're saying the leak about our whereabouts has nothing to do with you? Standing your ground is a good trait, but not knowing when to back down is just disrespectful. I'm here to resolve this matter. Today I found this in the handicrafts Blazewood delivered. Is that... a listening device? Moors, this vial should have contained heavy oil, the lifeblood of the old oil field. So why is this here? <sighs> also, the supplies delivered to Blazewood of late seem to be less than what was agreed upon. Do you know anything about this? Boss Pompey, I... I... Moors, I didn't bring you along for the Tour d'Inferno just for you to play dirty tricks. If we, as the League Overlords, are not just, then who would want to remain part of the League? And who would protect the old oil field? I'm so sorry. I messed up. I wasn't thinking straight. It's all my fault. I'll take the punishment. You're willing to take your punishment. Do you think you alone can bear the responsibility for the damage that you've caused? Sons of Caledon, Casa. Moors is my subordinate. I failed to manage him properly. I won't shift the blame onto him. As the current overlord, I'll take responsibility for this and provide compensation. Hm, nice speech. Now how do you plan to fix this? Recently, I negotiated and reached cooperation agreements with several areas neighboring the old oil field. According to the agreement, the old oil field's damaged oil pipelines can be rebuilt through other regions, as long as we provide some of the oil to them. Wait, does that mean our town's oil supply is saved? That's right. Within three months, the supplies should be restored. Also, several regions have agreed to share the roads, opening up at least five new freight routes for the old oil field. Sons of Caledon, 
In the next six months, I plan to have you manage three of these routes. I take it you won't refuse. You mean you're just gonna hand them over on a silver platter? I heard you've been drawing bad routes lately. Though it's just a coincidence, it's time to compensate you. And though the new routes are lucrative, they also traverse treacherous areas and require experienced riders. I have a condition, though. You need to help the less fortunate residents in these three regions for free during this period. And any teams using the routes in the future must do the same. How does that sound? Hey, Lucy. How are the terms? Are they really as good as he says? If it's true, it does solve our long-standing issues with Blazewood. Plus, with expanded routes, the other biker gangs would see a significant income boost. Hmm, I see. Hey, oh man! Your terms are certainly interesting, but it looks like you're making assumptions. The title of Overlord and who gets to allocate the roots hasn't been decided yet. If I become Overlord, I'll be fairer than you. <laughs> you can certainly talk the talk. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> All right, I agree. Caesar, here's a letter of commitment I wrote myself. The route allocations will be officially announced soon. See you with the Tour d'Inferno. bugged the handicraft sent to Blazewood for processing and was listening in on our conversations. Yes, and once the goods were processed and shipped out, they could discreetly retrieve the listening device. It's a flawless plan. If that's the case, why did the Overlord reveal this? At that point, we hadn't even discovered the listening device. Even if we hadn't found the listening device, once we cleared things up with Casa, we would have eventually started to suspect the handicrafts. That's right. If we found the bugs ourselves, things would have gotten out of hand. Is there a difference? Oh, Bernice, always so optimistic. The Overlord stepping up shows some sincerity, at least. If we had confronted him, even if it was all Moores is doing, we wouldn't have accepted his terms, right? Mishandling this could have shaken the foundations of the Motor League jeopardizing the safety of the old oil field. It would have caused that much trouble? Yes. We've been able to live relatively peacefully, thanks to the League ensuring the security of our oil resources. You have to understand, our oil isn't just coveted by other regions in the Outer Ring. Big city companies see it as the only thing stopping them from expanding into the Outer Ring. If something happens to the oil, the biker gangs might have a chance to move to other areas but everyone else won't be so lucky. Especially Blazewood. The residents are mainly the elderly or children, and their ether aptitude is weak. Oh, Proxy, there you are. Sorry to bother you, but can we talk? Proxy, I want to discuss Caesar. Ever since we met with the Overlord, she's been acting weird. She's usually straightforward and energetic. But lately, she's just been sitting on her own, lost in thought. She's even eating less than usual. Caesar's worried about something? It's strange, right? Lighter offered to train for the Turd Inferno with her, and she said she'd think about it. I think it's related to what happened that day. But if I ask her, she won't tell me the truth. <clears throat> uh, just so you know, I don't really care what's wrong with her, but she's still the leader of the Sons of Caledon, and I can't let her affect the others. Proxy, can you come up with something? Lucy, how about I take Caesar out to take her mind off things? I'm planning to head back to New Eridu tomorrow to copy some offline data. It might be a good opportunity. That's a good idea, and Caesar hasn't been to New Eridu much. You can show her around. All right, I'll handle Caesar. Tomorrow, have her take you to New Eridu on her bike. 
I'll leave the rest to you. <laughs> 